All right, Linnell, you're on the card that was uh, in danger of getting canceled here. I guess, what's the latest update with, with Ishe? Obviously, he had a pull out with the, with the cut. You know, how, how'd you learn about that and, and what went on there? I just got a call from my teammates letting me know that uh, it got cut. I mean, I didn't know to the extent of it, but it ended up being a pretty big cut. But he, So he had to pull out, basically. He had to pull out. But it's only a temporary setback. He's, you know he's fit. He was already eight weeks in the camp, so by the time that heals up, he'd be right back ready to go to war. Do you know how the cut came about? No, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure how it came about. So, so now you're a fighter who's had several of his fights canceled previously. I know newer guys, when they're first starting the business, that happens a lot. So when you heard that news, was the first thing that you thought of was maybe, damn, this card is getting canceled? Uh, possibly, definitely possibly, because that was a headliner, you know, it was a big fight, and it was, which made for a big card, so when, when he unfortunately uh, got cut, my, my first instinct was, this, this, this probably won't happen. This probably won't happen. So how long was it before that you were told that the fight was indeed going on, or at least the card, I'm sorry? Uh, the next day or two I heard that, it was, that the call would be continued, and I'm still working. I wasn't going to stop working, so to find out that it's, it's still happening was a blessing. So, so you still got, I mean, basically, who, who all from the gym here is going to be on that card? I know it's going to be like one of the usual money team cards, all you guys are going to be on there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Ronald Gavril, uh, Luis Cubari. Of course, myself, the Nail Knockout Bellows. Uh, we got a uh, Badu Jack co-main event, and then uh, I believe the main will be Mickey Bay. You know, for the title eliminator. So it's gonna still be a good car. It's gonna still be a great car. We yeah, all we all working hard. We ready. Mickey's gonna be the main event, and, uh, and of course, it'll be his first fight back since uh, the whole PED thing went down. Um, you know, just three months suspension, basically kind of exonerated for that. But but have you talked to him? Does he feel kind of a an extra? Uh, you know, a pressure to perform in this fight coming off of that? Nah, he, he's pretty confident. He knows what he's doing. He's no, he's, 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 he knows the work that had to be done. He's doing the work that needs to be done. So this fight is nothing but a breeze. He, he's not worried or wearied about it at all because he's doing what he got to do to prepare properly for it. So, so we just waiting for it to happen. We just waiting for these days to pass. Now he's a guy that had all the amateur credentials in the world in his, his pro career. You know, even though he's, he's undefeated, still kind of floundered, you know, he's hopefully in the right situation now. Where do you see him at as a fighter and, and after this, uh, you know, where he can go from there? Right. I'm a title holder. I mean, I don't know all the ins and outs of his career. Uh, I know that I know he's a great person, great fighter, even better fighter, you know, so I just see him after this fight, after he gets this W, he'll definitely be a, a title holder very soon. And what about you? We talked to you last week, but any new updates and you? How's your how's your training camp going? Uh, my training camp is going beautiful. You know, I mean, I'm in the gym period, so I wouldn't even really call it training camp. I'm just constantly grinding, man. So uh, the grind is getting stronger as the, the time winds down. And uh, I'm mentally, I'm physically prepared for whatever opposition comes my way. Now let me ask you this. You know, fortunately your fight's going to be, be coming up here, but if you fight again on Floyd's card, I guess he's getting ready to start training camp. From a strictly training standpoint, do you prefer to train when the surface of, of his training camp is, is not going on, or how do you feel when he's in camp? It doesn't matter. The work got to get done. I mean, the training camp, all it does is add extra people in here, but no matter what, the gym is pretty pretty packed. The doghouse has always got some type of work in here, so, I mean, it doesn't really make me no difference, being that I'm here for the while I'm here, which is the box to train, so the extra people doesn't do me none. It don't do me no, no, no good or no bad. All the double, well, I take that back. It, it has a lot of more, uh, body heat in this already uh, heated up furnace that we call a gym. But yeah, no, it really doesn't make me no different. Make me want to uh, definitely stay sharper, yeah. you know, because it, it is a lot of eyes in here. So I just basically want to master my craft, being that there is a lot more eyes on me. But I mean, it doesn't do it. Doesn't make me break me none. Yeah, so we got what 114 outside. What do you think it is in here right now? Uh, we, well, I mean, we had about 211. <laughs> To 11. I'm sweating, they did nothing. All I did was say what's up to a few people. I thought I was training. You know, people asked me was I through training, and I was like, I just got here. All right, no thanks, best of luck. No, no problem, man, much love.